Does Google finally have a real competitor? ChatGPT just released their new search engine. It's specifically designed for instant web sourced answers. It provides you with the sources like a works cited page. And perhaps the best part is that you can actually ask it follow up questions. So today I'm going to show you some exciting examples. I'm also going to show you how to find some very specific prompts. For example, my website is filled with a ton of prompts, thousands of prompts, as well as all of my mega prompts databases which again are all available via click the links in the description but when it comes to my blog it can be a little bit hard to find a helpful prompt when there's a plethora of information and prompts scattered throughout all of these blog posts well today you're in luck because i'm going to show you exactly how to do this with chat gpt search and when it comes to availability it's available today for people on the plus plan and for enterprise education and free users you'll be gaining access in the coming weeks so right off the bat let's just first start with something simple. I'm just going to type in 2024 election. Okay. Now we're not done yet because after you type in your search, make sure that you now select this little globe right here. Once it's selected and search is activated, it will be activated in that blue color. And then just like that, you could see it opens up with the direct information. But now on the right hand side, we're going to get like that source or that work cited page. Let's go ahead and click it. And it instantly will take you to that direct post itself. Okay. Pretty easy and pretty simple. Now, like I said, that's nothing new compared to what Google can do, but watch this because each step we're going to take it further and further. And then, like I said, finally at the end, I'll show you how to locate and find some of the best prompts. But again, like I mentioned earlier, let's see if we can ask it a follow-up question. So at the bottom, you'll see here, I just typed in something relevant to the actual search that I'm doing. What are the election odds as of today, according to polls? Let's see if we can get the real data. It's searching the web. And I got to tell you, it's pretty accurate active pretty quickly October 31st 2024 and here it goes we get these three right here going down it even goes further and it gives us the specific battleground states pretty helpful I love how it's going to give us more information and then again on the right hand side we're going to get all of these different sources that we can click and choose specific ones that we want to read okay now keeping things going with the real-time data let's just try one more thing so you can see my question below i'm just typing in who plays tonight on thursday night football let's see if it gets this right as well and uh yeah just like that look tonight thursday october 31st we have the houston texans facing the new york jets it gives us the time and then it gives us the records for both teams okay that's going to be extremely helpful what is the cost of uh, Bitcoin today. Okay, it's gonna be 70,494. All right, let's give this a real time fact check. 7487, okay, pretty good. Now I mentioned earlier today, I could show you some good examples on how you can really find the prompt that you need amongst a webpage or a blog post or a website that has a ton of information on it. How do you find exactly what you need? On my website, there are literally gonna be thousands of prompts that you could use completely for free. But the problem remains, they're gonna be scattered all throughout if i come over here to this page right here as i begin to scroll you could see that there are going to be so many drop down boxes of prompts and prompt generators so if i come over here and i click on this one for free pick mystic okay this is going to be an amazing prompt generator that you're definitely going to want to use it's long and you want to copy the whole thing however if every web page or every blog post is like this it's going to get a lot more difficult for people like you or even me to find the specific prompt that we need so let me show you exactly what to do okay I have a brand new chat opened up and I'm gonna start with something just simple I'll just type in metrics mule and then space prompts simple now again make sure you have search activated now hit enter and now watch this just like that it's instantly gonna populate just a ton of information based off of my website and specific prompts that you can use so over here on the right hand side instantly it's gonna give me all of these source data options right here and as I scroll down look at this pretty amazing Okay. And again, it's going to give me prompt categories. So if I want a specific prompt generator, AKA a prompt that generates prompts, I can come over here and now click this right here. Okay. And it's going to take me directly to this web page or blog post that's going to have two amazing prompt generators. And then we have resources available right here. This is actually a page. Let's click on this Leonardo AI one right here. If I click on it, it's actually a page that is a landing page to give you the option to purchase my mega Leonardo AI prompts database. Again, more and more options on the right hand side. So look at all of these citations. There are going to be a ton for 
for you specifically. Now, let's take it up a notch and let's get a little bit more specific on the certain kind of prompt that we do need. On Metrics Mule, show me prompts specifically for Leonardo AI. And then let's see what happens with this. It's going to give me information about the database, photorealistic prompts ebook. And then again, over here on the right hand side, look at this, even more. So the next thing I'll say is search Metrics Mule blog page and provide five example prompts. Okay, it's actually giving you five instant prompt generators. And these are going to be some of the best of the best. So for an example, if you copied and pasted this one right here, this is going to give you an amazing AI prompt generator. This one over here is a prompt generator for content creation. This one's for AI art, a prompt rewriter professional, and a Leonardo AI prompt generator. So it picked out some of the best prompts I have specifically on my website. Tons of prompts for you at your disposal to use when you need them. Show me YouTube videos that Metrics Mule created for Canva. Okay, it's gonna search the web here again. And then here we have this, turn Canva into a prompt generating machine, 10 Canva apps, awesome features, magic edit. So right away, we're gonna have these five amazing videos and then watch them instantly. The one I would recommend actually the most would be this one turn Canva into a prompt generating machine, you're going to be able to get tons of unlimited prompts utilizing Canva. You can even leverage this for SEO, where I said something like top ranking SEO keywords relating to Leonardo AI. And then right off the bat, look at this, it's going to give me all of these right here that I could possibly use to improve my SEO. And then last but not least, I also asked another question. I said, show me that people also ask questions related to free pick. So if you're unaware of what that is, that means if I come over here to Google and I just type in the keyword, let's say free pick for an example, it's gonna take me to this page right over here. As I scroll down at the very bottom, it's also gonna give me some other options. So let's say I select free pick design, okay? So right here, we have people also ask. If I select these drop down menus, the more I select, the more that will actually be populated. So I could take some of these, okay, and I could say, what are people also ask questions relating to this keyword free pick design. So let's come back over here and change up our search. So I typed over here at the bottom, what are people also ask questions for the keyword free pick design, let's select it and then look at these two responses we're going to get right here, this is going to be phenomenal. So we're going to have response one and then response two, beautiful. And since this is still in the testing phases, I could select, I prefer this option or that one, but you can see right off the bat, I'm going to get all of these different options. Now, if I come back over here to the search results in Google, look at this. They are going to be very, very comparable. See what is free pick? What is free pick used for? What is free pick design? Pretty fascinating. There you have it. Chat GPT search. It's now available. And if it's not, if you're on a free plan, it will be available and in your hands very soon. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching.